Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. We got Mr. Steve Morris in town, the guy who built this bad unit, and we're about to make some fire in the pipes. Pretty close. Pretty close. Definitely missing a few key items at the moment, but uh, hey, it's coming along. So trying to figure out what we're going to do for our down pipes because we ordered the wrong flanges, but the, the new ones come today. We might not have time to make a freaking crazy titanium exhaust. We might just do some little horns to get us on the dyno. And, get, and fuel system's done. Wiring's done. We gotta put converter bolts in it, and then we just have a bunch of odds and ends stuff like oil, rear end oil. We gotta put the shocks in, which come in in about an hour. Weird things, the steering's gotta get welded. Throw some belts on it, converter bolts, trans fluid. So we had a couple hours, Steve. We couldn't have her perfectly <laughs> ready for you, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's all right. We wanted to make you work for it a little bit. You getting wore out of making fuel fittings and Not stuff? Once. Not once, this easy. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. Done. That's literally so sick. <laughs> no sitting there fighting. Yeah, we've had this for anymore. what now? Two years? Yeah, two Sucker's years. still going strong. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. And then we got old Steve over here tapping some fittings. Making fittings. Putting the lathe to work. Well, we dragged Steve into town at the perfect time because we've had this man working all day. Look at him, he's already wore out. Sweat, man. <laughs> so we just pretty much wrapped everything up. We are literally vacuum lines, oil in the motor, oil in the trans. Now Ty is working on just some exhaust stuff. Instead of finishing the whole exhaust right now, because we don't have a ton of time, he's gonna start it and then we're gonna turn him up and just leave it so we can get on the dyno. While we have Steve in town, you know, we wanna do as much as possible. So we're gonna do a little shortcut there. And hopefully tomorrow you'll have time to fix it as long as everything goes well today. Hey. We'll see. I want to hear this thing fire up just as bad yeah. as you do, man. So we are literally some down pipes away from starting this thing up, which is freaking amazing. So good job, guys. Steve, how do you feel right now? I'm feeling good. I want feeling to hear good. it. <laughs> I do too. I, I'm tired of working on your shocks, transmission. <laughs> Uh, oil I know, <laughs> yeah, you haven't done anything to the engine. <laughs> we got we got Steve on shock dude, duty. I mounted I mounted this. that dipstick right there. This yeah, the dude. Legit we that. That's right. That is nice. And then you, and Steve then you also machined all these wheel wheel back in ports. Oh, that's right. We get, yeah, we do lathe work, machine work. I know, my I guy's out here killing it. Today. Ty's been doing all the love. I know, he hogs it. <laughs> Are we going to try it? I mean, I feel like we should bump the engine, see if it even turns. Oh, you got a bump button now? got a bump button. Ready? Oh, it's a toggle switch. Yeah, go ahead. Right. It turns. <laughs> Is there oil in there? Uh, yeah, there's Keys on, it just fires up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to start off, yeah. I was wondering when we hit the part where Garrett ran out of patience. Come on, man. It's like a kid we just want to make sure it runs and then there's no leaks and you can keep going. Get your power back on. Ready? Right. It's got so much fuel. Oh, <laughs> Dude. Oh, brother. Dino in here in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good, guys. It's running. How bad's the leaks? Wow. Bone dry floor, dude. It's a big block. We'll give it some time. Yeah, give it some time. <laughs> All right, cool. It sounds freaking sweet. All right, we're going to get this whipped up, guys. Chewy. We got fire in the pipes. All right, well, we have a down pipe. Ty went ahead and zapped up this titanium as fast as he could. And we are... About to put it on the car and show them our custom stuff we got going Ooh. here. Instead of running it down through the fender, we're going to temporarily just put it like that. Glass pipe. Looks very ugly, <laughs> but it'll allow us to get to work while we have Steve here. So yeah. yes, sir. let's do it. Dang, boy. That's your finest it. work, Ty. Your finest work Definitely right there. <laughs> oh, dude, we don't even got to finish it. No. Screw going out the fender. Let's just leave it like that. It's done. Oh, my gosh. People are gonna have a heyday with this. Ready to fire this thing up, buddy? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, we got alternator belt on. 
fuel pump belt on. We got fuel in it. We're ready to do this. We gotta check the transmission fluid. Mm. Hit it. We got a fuel leak anyway, so. Shoo, buddy, brother. <laughs> it sounds so freaking smooth, man. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, brother. Woo, how's that feel? Feels <laughs> After good. After two weeks of fabricating <laughs> and assembling, dude. Good job, guys. Good job, Sam. Shoo, we that felt so freaking good. Yes. All right, well, we got some fuel leaks. Sam pointed it out. One, right? Yeah, we got some methanol yeah. dripping right there. Okay. We're going to check that out. Feels tight, but we'll double check it. Hell yeah, guys. All right, let's check her over and then check the training fluid and keep going. Coming online. <laughs> Dude, it's at 201. 201? Uh, well, the sensor's all the way in the back of the manifold. Um, were the fans on? No, the water temp's in the back of the engine. Yeah, were the fans on, though? The fans were both on. Radiator is barely even warm. Radiator's not warm. Oh, okay. Okay. It would be better to, so, put, yeah. to put it in the radiator, honestly, we, but... We can handle that. We just realized we put the coolant temp sensor where there's really no water flow. It's like a deadheaded steam port, basically, so... Yeah. These big blocks, you learn something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you can tell we have no idea what we're doing. Where else could we put it? You'd probably just put it in the radiator then, huh? If it overheats, Steve can just stay up and rebuild it tonight. Yeah. If it overheats, <laughs> we'll just let it sit for two days like neighbor and it'll yeah, fire right it'll back fire up. right up. <laughs> all right, well, uh, now that we know that's all, I was like, man, it's really going up in temp fast. Yeah. But that makes sense if it's just sitting there. So 
I was worried Hot about pocket. it. We talked about it being in the back of the head that it was going to read a lot higher, but we didn't think it was going to read. Yeah. Steam. You know what we could do is pull this little this little uh, brick off right here, Just tap it. and that'd be really easy to tap. And then uh -huh. tomorrow we'd have a good water flow spot right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that not that's not a freaking yep. one day job. That's a one hour job. Yeah. All right. How's the transfoot? I put it in gear for a, slight, a split I second. I put it in gear. Felt like the converter is pretty tight. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, fluid is so hard to see. Yeah. Freedom in the hole. Look that starter. Call that a success, eh? She's yep. running. <laughs> She's running. It's making oil pressure. Yep. So we got a little bit of tuning to do, obviously, guys. Uh, it's gonna take some time. So we're gonna end this video off, get this thing loaded fully on the dyno, start putting the load on the drivetrain and tuning the drivability into it, and then that'll lead into some big horsepower pulls. Yep, tomorrow. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we're gonna pull some plugs and look at them. Yeah, they're pretty cooked. Here's number four. A little wet there. So we got some work to do, guys. We'll end it off there. Thanks for watching. We'll freaking see you later.